Hello there. We're in the deserts of Southern California, the lower deserts again, but this time we're just east of Salton Sea and just north of the Mexican border. We're not, we're fairly close to a town, small town called Borrego Springs. We're in Anza Borrego. And uh, the sun's going down, it was very hot today. It's about seven o'clock. We're heading up this canyon to the springs. There's a natural springs here supplies water year-round and they have several groups, large groups in fact, of the bighorn sheep. So we're going to try and get some pictures of those. Rarely, rarely seen, but they're here because of the water. Anyway, this is just an absolutely gorgeous place here in the desert. And what we're doing here is we're doing a herpetological survey for the San Diego banded gecko and also the barefoot gecko. Now these geckos here are nocturnal. They're little, small, cute little geckos. And they're not like the typical gecko that you're thinking of that has the little suction cups and they can climb up the wall and on the, on the ceiling. These don't have that, but they are kind of unique. They have uh, movable eyelids. They eat their skin after they shed. And they clean themselves with their big tongue. They clean their face with their big tongue each time they eat. So they're really kind of cute little critters. So hopefully we can find some of those and show them to you later tonight. So are you ready for an adventure? Join me. Ah, look, finally, we're coming up to the oasis where the spring is. It's California palms. Let's see if we can sneak up on some sheep. Absolutely gorgeous. Incredible place. See if we can get up to those palms up there. Now the sun's starting to go down, so I've got to be very careful that I don't go trapped out here at night. I gotta make it down to camp before it gets dark. Well, here I am back at camp, made it down from the springs and just resting. It's about 8.30 or so, just getting a little rest and uh, when it gets dark, we'll go out and do our survey. I've got a nice little bench here, made up from my bed, up off the ground, nice and comfortable. Um, sleeping on the ground is cool, except for the rattlesnakes uh, like to get cozy with you and there's scorpions everywhere here in ants. So, We'll just be right here. Got the car there. Oh man, this is the life. All right, we'll see you in about an hour and hopefully find some animals. Okay, here we are and we've got our first uh, banded gecko here. This one's kind of patternless. I'm gonna stick them back. Okay, we got a little sidewinder here. A little better shot at them there. Bandy gecko there, looks pretty nice. Nice little male, you can tell. Here's another nice little bandy gecko. He's, he's kind of a small one. Here's another gecko, another bandy gecko. Scorpion is huge. Here's a big one. Look at that. Look at that boy. She's full of eggs. Look at that. Beautiful. Full of eggs. This is probably about our 10th or 11th one. Well, here's another one. It's a great night for bandy geckos. We're finding these left and right. There's a pretty one. And here's our next one, another smaller bandy gecko. Okay, here we have a little sand snake. It's 
pretty one, pretty good size. It's got a little red in it. A lot of these here will have a lot of red in them. And this is like a young adult. This is about the size they get. They're rear fang snake. Really pretty. Here we have a little baby glossy snake, Arizona elegance. Little hatchling this year. And we picked this guy up off the road. Normally just leave them alone, please don't disturb them or take them off or take them from the wild. Just want to bring you in here to show you him a little closer inside the car. He's got smooth scales, you can see the bands. Coleonyx variegatus, San Diego banded gecko. Okay, here we got another banded gecko. Found him in the car to take a look at him. You can see the bands, that's why they call it a banded gecko. Normally we don't pick them up, but I'm, I have to pick them up because I'm looking for the Peninsular Gecko, the Swiatek Gecko, and they look similar. Instead of having smooth scales up by their neck, they have uh, little beaded tubercle scales. Okay, here's another large one. Oh, now this has some nice color. This, this specimen's a large male, as you can see on the base of his tail. Here's another big one. Another banded gecko. And here's another one. Looks like another banded. It's cooling off a little, so they're staying still so I can pick them up easy. Here's another large specimen. Ah, this one's looking pretty good. Let's see if we can see what this is. That's another banded gecko, an adult female. It's more of a patternless one. Uh, the males uh, have bulges towards the vent. The females don't. Let me see if I can show you. You can see no bulges down there like that last male I showed you. And yet another big adult. Let's see if this is a Swiatek guy. That's another one with not a very distinct band, uh, bands, but it's another uh, banded gecko. And this one is a this one is a male. You can see how down by the vent it's protruded. All right, little guy, we'll let you go. And about 50 feet away is another one. Okay, we just picked up number 13, Banded Gecko. So that's Banded Gecko 13 and Peninsular Gecko, or the so-called Barefoot Gecko 0. And number 14 is a Banded Gecko, female. Number 14, Banded Geckos, just for tonight. Now this is number, I think number 15, Banded Gecko. In about an hour and a half, it's 2300 hour, and we started at uh, 2130. This is a really big specimen. So in about an hour and a half, 15 of these guys. It's got some nice distinct bands. It's a female. So hour and a half, 15 banded geckos. Now here is number. 
tell you the truth, I've lost track how many we found tonight. 16, 17. And here's a really, not a really pretty one. Woo! Give me a workout. Oh, this one's beautiful. Yeah, nice big female. Nice pattern. Okay, girl, we'll let you go. Well, this adventure is about over. It's early morning and we're getting ready to head on back. But we had a really good time and we saw a lot of geckos, a lot of banded geckos these past 10 nights. Um, so the geckos are doing well. We never found any of the peninsular geckos, the barefoot geckos. I know that they're here. Last year I found one, but um, we saw so many geckos. I probably saw more geckos on this little adventure than I've seen over the past 55 years total of herping. So the survey was very successful and the banded geckos are doing very well here in Borrego. Well, we also saw a lot of snakes as well. So it was quite successful. We had a lot of fun. It's a beautiful area. Thanks for joining me. And until next time, adios. And get out on the trails and have some fun.